Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, uh, before we get into the video, I wanted to just give a, a massive shout out to everybody out there who was part of the 12 hour stream we had yesterday. It was unplanned, but we made we, we want to make it history. We shattered the record, our previous record of 10 hours going live. We, went, we were live for 12 hours yesterday. So if you were part of that, you, you stopped by and you watched, commented, participated in any way, shape, or form. Then uh, thank you guys, and you were you were a part of history. Now we have breaking news. Yes, breaking news. Our main man Tyson Fury has had a change of heart. He adds another moment to the to the laundry list of bipolar moments he's had in his career, and he has now stated that he he plans to fight until he's forty years old. Now this is obviously a massive change of heart by Tyson Fury. This is obviously a, a, a different song, a different tune he's singing. Because it wasn't so long ago that Tyson Fury was saying that after he beats Joshua, become undisputed, th 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 there's nothing left for him to do, and he can just ride off into the sunset. So, you know, Tyson Fury may or may not change his mind 15 more times after this uh, after this article, but we're, we're reporting on it because we, we have to document these things here on True School Sports. Now, let's get into what he had to say verbatim. This article is, in fact, courtesy of Left Hook, Bad Left Hook, and it was uh, reported via ESPN, so shout out to Bad Left Hook and ESPN, respectively. Here's what he said verbatim. He said, I quote, I'm going to fight on until I'm 40 years old. I've been thinking about it, and there isn't much else to do anyways. So yeah, I may as well keep fighting. I don't see anyone out there that can challenge me anyway. I flattened the best one out there. That The toughest opponent out there is Deontay Wilder, and we all saw what happened to him. Now, this all comes in light of the fact that Fury is, uh, you know, reportedly, you know, Fury's team and Joshua, Anthony Joshua's team are reportedly in negotiations for a big-time undisputed fight. Which, you know, yesterday we talked about, we, we talked about that on our 12-hour live stream at Nausea. And we talked about it at, at great lengths. I want to be optimistic about it, but I just don't think the fight's going to happen. Um, like my man Mark said in my Iron Rattle Box Talking News. I just think I've been burned too many times with these with these fights in marination. And it just sounds like the beginning of potential marination. So ho hopefully not. I want to be optimistic, but uh, it, it's, it's tough to be with, with, with the way boxing is in this current climate and landscape. Uh, with that being said... I want to piggyback off of what Fury said and kind of just look look at this thing from a more broad perspective. If he does, let's say he does, let's just say he decides to extend his career to the age of 35 and fight five more years. So let's just say he fights twice uh, every year for the next five years and he's got 10 more fights left. Then that would be very exciting to me as a, as a, as a, as a fan of the heavyweight division, a massive fan of the heavyweight division, as a massive Fury fan, as a massive fan of just boxing in, at, at large. I um I would love to see Tyson Fury get it on with the likes of Dan Dubois in the future once he gets up there in the ranks or uh, a guy like Philip Hergovic. You know, it'd be it'd be very interesting to see uh, Tyson Fury versus the newer crop of heavyweights that are coming up. Obviously, aside from those guys, you have guys that are still in the mix towards the top like Dillian White, and and that's another fight that could be explored. You have Alexander Usyk who's definitely looking to make some waves in the heavyweight division. So, you know, if 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 this isn't just another bipolar moment, which Honestly, I think it probably is from Tyson Fury. If there's any truth to what he's saying with this, then this is great news. This is great news because it's Tyson Fury's chance to not just um, validate what I've been saying, but really show the world that he is he is one of the all-time great heavyweights, that he is going to be just all, all, all the things that I've said he's going to be and that many boxing fans believe that he is, and that is one of the, uh, the great heavyweight fighters of all time. That is one of the most... If not the most versatile heavyweight to ever put on a pair of boxing gloves. I mean, we've gone through it already. We talked about it at length here on True School Sports about why Tyson Fury is such a fantastic fighter. He's mature. I mean, maybe maybe he didn't start off like early in his career. If you go back and you watch some of these earlier fights, like against John McDermott and Nevin Pajic and, 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 and Steve Cunningham and Nikolai Furtha and, 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 and even some of the Tesoro fights, you know, Tyson Fury didn't look like he was going to be some sort of all-time great heavyweight but like like the saying goes in boxing heavyweights generally tend to mature later on they ma they mature later on in their careers so it's not like you know some of the small weight class where these guys are in their primes 26 25 27 and maybe maybe their cut off prime their cut off part of their prime is 32 33 heavyweights their prime could be their prime could last to the 35 34 you know uh, 36, you know, depending on how great the heavyweight is and what kind of style he fights. So, it's Ty I, I think Tyson Fury has a chance to really prove that he's one of the all-time greats. And, and and if he's going to fight and continue fighting in this era of heavyweight boxing where you have the likes of Dan Dubois, Hergovic, Dillian uh, White, Alexander Usyk, 
um, and a whole host of other heavyweights coming up, then I think it's his chance to really show that not only is he the best heavyweight of this era, but that he's the best heavyweight, one of the best heavyweights of all time. You know, he's in that, you know, he's he's going to be in that, that, he's going to be in that top 10, top 5, top 3 discussion when it's all said and done. And, I, and pe- pe- people think I'm crazy for saying this, and they always, I, I always get these comments saying, true school sports, BT, you're a fanboy. You don't know what you're talking about. But listen, um, I've always believed the world of Tyson Fury. I still believe the world of Tyson Fury. And... I hope he follows through on what he's saying here. Because I, I, I want to see him fight Anthony Joshua more than once and destroy him more than once. I want to see him fight uh, Dillian White. I want to see him fight Alexander Yusuke. I want to see him fight Hergovic. I want to see him fight uh, Daniel Dubois. And I want to see I want to see if what I'm saying is th- th- if it holds any weight. And if I'm wrong, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting I'm not I mean I'm not getting no hundred thousand dollar check for being wrong or right. So I'll admit that I was wrong and I humble myself because I'm, I'm not I'm not above humbling myself. But um. I, I really believe Tyson Fury is a, is a is a special fighter. He's matured into what Emmanuel Stewart said he would be, and that that is one of the dominant factors, uh, not just in heavyweight boxing, but uh, boxing as a whole and boxing at large. And I think when it comes to the heavyweight division, w- w- we're going to be waiting a long time before we get a, a fighter who has who is as color uh, colorful, controversial, entertaining, and talented as a Tyson Fury. And and, and these are just my thoughts on. Uh, his career moving forward, and uh, just looking at it from the broader, a broader lens. So, with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Tyson Fury adds another bipolar moment to his laundry list of bipolar moments in boxing, and he says that he will now plan to fight till he's forty because there ain't, there ain't really much else to do, ain't shit to do but box. So, with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.